Welcome to your 10th Minecraft modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.3.2. This is SciGuy1121 and let's go ahead and get started. So, um, I want to take a little break from making our furnace. I'm sorry, I know a lot of you guys really want me to finish that. However, I just, I've been working on it for about a month without any break. Um, even when I'm not making tutorials, I'm researching how to do stuff, testing stuff, which takes forever. Um, and so I just want to take a little break from furnaces. It may be a tutorial or two. Um, I may get another furnace tutorial out later. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so for this little break for, from furnaces, I want to cover something simple and fun and random. And that is how to make new flowers. Okay, so, um, it's really, really, really easy. The first thing we're going to want to do is declare a new block. So public, well, easy compared to what we've done, been working on so far. If you're new to modding, you may want to go ahead and watch my how to create a block and how to create a new ore videos. Um, but we just want to define a block, so public static final block. And we want to name this tutorial flower equals new block flower. We don't even have to create a new block class, it's amazing. Well, you do if you want to make it um, drop special stuff, but eh, oh well. Um, equals new block flower, and we're, we're going to set this to 182 and 0. So that's... Um, I, I've never done this before. Basically, this is a kind of declaration where you're going to take the position inside um, Minecraft's, uh, Minecraft's uh, what's it called, tile set. Um, but we're obviously using our own texture, so we don't need that. I'm just setting it to zero. And then dot set block name, tutorial, flower, dot set hardness 0.0f dot set resistance and we'll make this immune to TNT. Let's set this to 100f. A flower immune to TNT completely and utterly. Um, dot and let's go ahead and make it really bright. So dot set light value and we will name this 1.0f. Uh, 5 point. Uh, 0 0.5. We don't want it to be too overpowered, right? Um, yeah, so that'll be a nice little flower. I've actually already got a texture made. And if I can find it. And now, this was an interesting texture to make, because what I, had to, what I did is I created the background transparent. So I use GIMP to make textures, uh, just because it's nice and easy. And it has a little snap to grid with the pencil, which makes it really good for 16-bit textures. Uh, but I just, it's a really bad texture. Uh, I made it in like five minutes. But I just uh, set the background to transparent and then drew the texture. So this will be the only thing in it. We don't need a full block texture. Um, okay, so now we just want mod loader dot register block tutorial flower and mod loader dot add name tutorial flower tutorial flower and um, we want to tu tutorial flower dot block index in texture equals mod loader dot add override slash terrain dot png and we want uh, tutorial underscore flower dot png is what I named the texture. Um, so that's really basic code. Uh, now we get to the slightly more advanced code, but it's still really easy, which is nice. Um, you can tell I'm a lot less stressed in this video. I've been very stressed for the past month or so. Um, I'm just going to create a comment. So flower 
generation. Okay, so we want, it's basically the same right for right now as um, our or generation, and that is for and i equals zero, i is less than uh, flower rarity. So I, I'm not quite sure what the average is. I think it's somewhere around two-ish. I'm just going to set it to five so that we can find it easily. Um, if we were to set it to 25 like we have for our or up here, it would be everywhere. I plus plus. Okay, now we want int rand pause x equals chunk x plus rand dot next int 16 um, is the size of the chunk, and we want plus 8. Uh, now we want int rand pause y equals rand dot next int. Again, uh, the height at which it's going to spawn, so we'll set this to 128. Actually, we're going to set this to 256 because we want it to be everywhere. And int rand pause z equals chunk z plus rand dot next int 16 plus 8. Okay, uh, now here's the magical piece of code. We just want new world gen flower and we want tutorial flower dot block ID and um, actually I think that's it dot yeah, it's giving me an error. Hmm. Okay. Dot generate world rand rand pause x. Let's see if this, uh, there we go. Rand pause y and rand pause z. And it's giving me an error. Um, world gen flowers with an S. Okay, there we go. So um, basically the world gen flowers, it's a uh, world gen code and if you want I could cover that in a later video. But what it is, is it is world gen code um, and it's, you know what, we need to generate a new world. It's world generation code uh, but it makes it so that it can only generate on grass. So I'm just going to set this to new world all the default settings and it's building terrain okay oh great huh you know this makes it very difficult to find my new flowers minecraft this makes it very difficult um anyway it's that really horrible texture here's our ore our ore is generating wonderfully. Um, this is making it difficult on me. Great job, Minecraft. Perfect world generation, as always. Okay. Yay. Oh. Crud. Okay. Um, you know, I don't think flowers generate in swamp biomes. Here we are. Okay. You can see my really horrible texture right here, uh, we have our new flower. So obviously you're going to want a better texture um, than mine. If I switch into if I switch into survival it, you'll see there are a few bugs um, with it uh, unfortunately. However that's basically how to generate um, our new flower. So thank you for watching. Uh, sorry about the bug here. Actually, I'm going to see if there's... Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, actually, I do want to check one thing, and that is if I can set dot set ah, dot set dot I dot id dropped and ooh okay um so 
let's set this to, we want it to drop diamonds. What is the idea of diamonds? You know what? I don't know. Let's just look in the item class. Um, this is just random stuff right here. Uh, sorry about that. I don't know the idea of diamonds, so don't expect me to memorize every single idea in the game. Uh, diamond is eight. Okay. So we want ID dropped. Okay, um, and that is eight. New random. And I'm not sure what this one is, so I'm going to set that to eight too. And yeah. Okay, um, that is not a method to set it. I was hoping we could just set it to drop diamonds, um, but you'll basically just create a new block, um, custom block class for that, and then set this instead of block flower to uh, block whatever it is. And then what you're going to want to do is um, instead of extends block, just put extends block flower. And then you can set it to drop diamonds and all that. So, um, and actually that's the reason it didn't work was because Flowers technically, I believe, uh, use metadata when you drop them, so you are going to want to create a custom block. However, that's, that would just take too long for this tutorial. So, uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Bye.